Okay, so don't get scared just because you see 80s on there thinking, okay, here we go. We're going to be warming up and it's going to be uncomfortable. We went into the 80s today, but it's the dry air. It's when that dew point gets over the 60s, that Gulf moisture returns. That's when it gets sticky, it gets hot, it gets uncomfortable. We get angry or as Doug is hangry a lot, but we're going to take care of that with Chick-fil-A, Doug, coming up. Hey, so this will be coming up because we have south winds. They came back today, and they're going to be increasing, sticking with us for the next couple of days, so Gulf moisture is going to return comfortable. we got some higher-level clouds working in with our next disturbance. You can see that here, satellite water vapor. It's not the most organized thing out here, but it's out there across the four corners, desert southwest. It's going to be moving east and then eventually northeast, giving us the chance of some showers as we go into really late Thursday and into Friday. I'll show you more on that in a second. Showed you this yesterday. It was over by the Aleutian Islands today. Uh, we're looking at this big upper level low. You can clearly see that counterclockwise swirl there on the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to be working our right way. Want to show you something different here today. Upper level energy. You're going to notice the red out here. It's that system that uh, water vapor imagery I just showed you out there. It's going to be working off towards the east, stopping it here Thursday. You see those little red globs. That's lift in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It helps with shower activity. Most of that's out in West Texas. Best chances are out there. But you see as we go into Friday, it kind of lifted through. So with Gulf moisture returning, we're going to have to see if we can really saturate the lower levels of the atmosphere. If it can return enough, we might have some scattered showers along west of 35. Might be the best chance there. We'll watch that for Friday Night Lights. There's that big dip in the jet stream. You can see it right there. That's the system we just looked at in the Gulf of, Me of Alaska. That's going to be swinging through as we go into the weekend. <coughs> the difference is, excuse me there, uh, last Sunday it was not at Man, I should have drank some water before we went through there, uh, before the, we came in for the weather cast. Here we go. It's going to be lifting through the area. It was not that strong last weekend, and we just had the front coming through, and we had some moisture. It was a broken line of showers. It wasn't that great. It's looking a little bit better for us as we go into this weekend. Future track cloud cover, we'll see it increasing a little bit here uh, across central Texas as we go into tomorrow morning as that Gulf moisture starts to return. Maybe even some isolated areas of some patchy fog. We'll see more cloud cover increasing as we go Thursday night into Friday. And then there you go. As we go into Friday, I'll step out of the way. You see some of the isolated activity east of 35. Yeah, guys over here, you got to show them. They got some drinks for me. Uh, we'll be watching that chance of some isolated showers. Doesn't look like a washout, but it'll be there nonetheless. Should I take a sip right no, now? Yeah, no, you never take a sip on air. Temperatures back in the 80s tomorrow. What? A little bit of moisture starting to return. You'll definitely notice it as you go into Friday. Best rain chances with that front coming through. I think it comes through more on Sunday morning. Best rain chances around sunrise. We'll see it decreasing northwest to southeast. I just want to say that we did have drinks that they we did. were willing to give him. They were offering it. It's, you, you always take a sip of water before you go on air. It's the littlest little thing right in there, and it gets you every time. Gets you right there. Gets you right there. Just be careful what's in her mug. That's all I have to say. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>